Hello, world. Lisa Fredrickson here, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from JavaScript.info, the modern JavaScript tutorial. We are up to section 2.9, interaction with the user, alert, prompt, and confirm. Alert, prompt, and confirm are three methods of the default object, the window object, that allow us to interact with the user. I've created this short page with four input boxes, which we'll get to soon, and we'll gather information from the user using input boxes. But for now, we're going to use these three window methods to talk to the user. So here's my JavaScript, test29.js, and it's connected to my little web page through the script tag. And here we see line four executed, alert, high world. And the alert method, as you know, just creates a small dialog box with that text. If you've been using the JavaScript.info tutorial as written in the code examples, he uses alerts a lot to provide information about the code. There's nothing more you can do with the alert method other than provide some text. You can't style that dialog box. It's a quick and dirty way to give the user a message. And it can be kind of annoying because you can't go on until you click OK. But sometimes if you just need to stop the user from whatever they're doing and give them a message, the alert method is available. I'm going to click OK and go on and read the rest of this JavaScript. Line 6 says, create a variable named user and assign it to the prompt method, who are you? And here's my text, who are you? I can type in my name and click OK. Next line, console logs out user in my console, which is not open yet, and proceeds to line 9. Let start game be a confirm method. Do you want to play? Now notice on the confirm method, I get OK and cancel buttons. And based on which button I click, either true or false is going to be returned to the start game variable. So I'll click OK, right click and inspect my console and see what's there. My first console log was the user and I entered Lisa into the prompt dialog box. And my second console log is start game. And I click yes on the confirm dialog box. You can see how these methods could be valuable as you're moving a user through an order form or a game in the web page. If you want the prompt dialog box to have a default value, you can enter that as a second argument into the prompt method. I'm going to save and refresh this page. High world is alerted. And then notice that Lisa is the default value in the dialog box. I'm going to click OK this time. This time I'm going to click Cancel on do you want to play is to prove that by clicking cancel, we return false to the script and now false is stored in start game. Thank you.